PG-13, this is G.I. Joe 2005, and well, we're looking at this version of Sepentor, and the 86 version of Sepentor is superior because the head sculpt for the comic pack one was, yeah, <laughs> it was no good, pretty crummy, although it probably did have the mask that went over top, but it looks nothing like the original Serpentor. And well, you can't screw around with something that was perfected. So now, for this year, there is uh, 81 figures. Beachhead was carried over, as well as, well, they had the, they had Flint carried over, but I don't have that version of Flint. And they carried over the Dreadnoughts. So. We do have the Cobra Night Watchmen and I guess the uh, Cobra Squad Leaders. Now you see, I guess that's why Hasbro couldn't find the mold because they changed the names once again. So that's probably how we ended up with this imperfection. You can see here the Hasbro officer that they sent for a replacement even has a ribbit that's reversed. And well, like I said in the other videos, Hasbro did not make the gap like they did in the previous years and they made the figures legs a lot thinner, like way thinner. So Hasbro doubled down on cheap and cheapen out. And well, they got it right in the past, but you know, they just keep trying to change things, trying to be different <laughs> instead of just, you know, using what worked in the past so that sucks you know Hasbro sent me more defective figures instead of just rectifying the problem with the mold and oh well so anyways these uh, Cobra Night Watchmen came in a four pack I believe and they were pretty cool or was it a six pack <laughs> no, it was a four pack and you can see right behind there there's the uh, other two and the one has a purple on the uh, arm, or shoulders, and the other one has red. Pretty fancy. Now I do love those figures. These are great army builders, however, I did not get any more yet. Also, on Yojo.com, they did not count all six of the, uh, the shadow guards, which are just crimson guards in black, but they call them shadow guards. And the Crimson Guards in red, they only had one of each on the site, so that's where you find that boost of numbers. So it is actually 81 figures for that year. 81 O-Ring figures, that is. And that's all we collect is O-Ring. Now there is a possibility for a couple other ones in that year, like Rakondo. You could switch out his arms, because the arms were not made well, but the rest of his body does look like he could be an O-Ring figure. Now I do like this version of Tomax and Exmont, I believe. You know, I always think Zaymont. <laughs> I don't know why. There should have been a third. <sighs> Anyways, <it's> the center. <laughs> oh, he feels everything. <sighs> Anyways, the business suit was uh, pretty, pretty uh, common in the cartoon, and they did have him in the Enterprise building. So that is, I forget what they called it, Enterprise something. <laughs> well, anyway, I forget, it's been a while. Now this version of Hood Cobra Commander was friggin' awesome. It's all in red. And I do believe he came also in a four pack or a six pack. I think it could have been a six pack. But you never know. But I think it was, I think it came with the Crimson Guards and uh, the Cobra Immortal Guard which has the uh, Cobra Commander body type. So you can see very clearly, it's another version of the last version of the Hood of Cobra Commander that we just seen. Pretty fancy. Now, I do like these figures and we're gonna have a look at the Shadow Guards. You can probably find for about 150 American or 180 to 90 Canadian for six pack. Now, the weapons that come with them are not usually good weapons but 
the uh, list that they came with individual weapons I just didn't care what they came with and they do fit this weapon really well you have to look, make sure it has a thinner handle because some of them have a thicker handle but that looks far better than what they had or you can put the classic uh, classic uh, weapon that came with the uh, the Crimson Guard on them just like I did here so the head sculpt is pretty nice it is the helmet though makes it look too oversized for the head but I mean you could make a uh, you know a dreadnought out of this out of this version because he does look like a bandit <laughs> he's gonna rob the train <laughs> so the head sculpt's nice now if you compare it with the original 85 Crimson Guard you know the head sculpt is fairly accurate they could have even made a helmet that was actually fit better just clicked on just the top part instead of having the uh, whole face piece so they could have actually just made the red part of the helmet click on and that would have actually sufficed way better than trying to put the whole mask on but oh well now let's hope we don't get dominoes because it always seems to happen <laughs> anyways they did make Firefly for this year, and I do love Firefly, the Cobra Saboteur. So we do have the 84 version, and then they have a movie version, which looks like this one. This one actually does look like the one that was in the movies. And this camouflage one is friggin' awesome. This one I love. Red, gray, and black with green grenades. I have three of these ones. So I do recommend that one big time it is fantastic and the snake eyes for this year has a green grenade and gray straps and the head sculpt I do not like compared to the 85 85 head sculpt is the best head sculpt and by far the best best figure for that so I also they did make a duke for this year and well his face or head sculpt looks like the Terminator 2 cop <laughs> if you look close enough so pretty interesting now you know we know this one as Blizzard but they called him short fuse for this year and in a lot of videos I was confused short fuse was zap so you know just pay attention to that sometimes I might get it wrong but we're getting it right today and same with Avalanche here they changed his name this year and I believe it was Backblast. <laughs> and Backblast, well, that sure doesn't look like Backblast. Blackblast, I think, has the Go Army t-shirt and stuff. <laughs> so that doesn't look like Backblast. Oh. In fact, he's right up there. Here, well, this is Backblast. The original Backblast is this one. You know, this is way better. So again... Hasbro confuses <clears throat> people and uh, again we set it straight <laughs> once we know and knowing is half the battle and then again you know Beachhead was carried over we have him in the back there so <clears throat> sorry for the throat clearing now you can see in the back here we have the original Cobra officer looks way nicer and way better than the, the new version that they put out and same with the uh, Cobra Soldier that we know. But the other versions of Cobra Soldiers and Officers, you know, they do look better. Whereas these versions that they made almost give them like a Lego or zombie type eyes. Just, uh, <laughs> looks pretty, pretty crappy. Whereas these ones even have detail. They even have like the white in the eyes and stuff. So, you know, like, these are way better figures that they made in the past and they cost far less. And in fact... The uh, price of an employee that Hasbro pays to uh, make these figures over in Vietnam, because they're probably outsourced by China, but mine were definitely definitely came from Vietnam, even set up the package. So um, a price of a laborer makes anywhere from two to four thousand a month, and their country's dollars equal to about seven dollars fifty cents American. So there's a huge price gouge when it comes to the amount of money that Hasbro is charging for action figures. So, and plus they own the licensing. So again, Hasbro could bring the price points right down to five or anywhere from five to ten dollars a figure. But since Hasbro owns Disney and stuff like that as well, or Disney owns Hasbro, vice versa, 
you know it's just they're just flushing down the uh, market they're driving up the prices there's no need like other other toy companies did not jack up their prices and they did not use any excuse to jack up their prices they kept their prices low because they want to sell product whereas Hasbro doesn't want to seem to sell their product and I don't even know if they're making O-ring figures for this year and another thing is every country you find division you'll find a communist at work communists tried to divide a nation and well oh and one more thing if uh, China did donate tanks to Ukraine Russia might be able to tap into those tanks and find out the geolocation of those tanks so you might want to pay attention to that so I would not use those tanks if China in fact did donate tanks to Ukraine apparently that's what was one of the Ukrainian sites said so you never know <clears throat> but communists are communists you can't trust the communist so again they're bringing nukes into Belarus and why would you do that unless you're not planning on eventually using them so that to me is an act of aggression or war and you know it cuts the reaction time way down for Europe as well as North America but I do love these action figures they are fantastic and well you know next video we'll talk about them a little more I don't have any vehicles for this year and if we were to go through all the figures you know there's a, a lot of different names so I'm gonna have to get to know them a little bit more before we actually talk about them because there's a lot of cool figures that they did make but again the head sculpts might be a little shrunken because it's the comic pack ones so anyways thanks for watching and remember to share the videos with others and I hope this video loads up because this is the third time so I'm just trying to remake it over again just to make sure that it actually worked this time and I, I do love army building these figures and even these figures <laughs> like all the different versions of Firefly you know I enjoy and we did videos already in the past that show you all the different versions but we need to do a video that gives these figures you know better exposure because all these cool so Cobra soldiers and officers you know those are perfect army building figures and you know if Hasbro would have did them in different camouflage colors like these ones like the Night Watchmen they would be flying off the shelves but Hasbro doesn't really seem to care what the fans think they just want to have their own agenda and do what they want instead of putting product in the stores you know if, you, if Hasbro was smart they would take those convention figures that looked friggin awesome and ask people to vote on what kind of figures they want made and they put out a few figures for people to vote on and then you could pick different kind of camouflage patterns or color schemes and uh, I already suggested to them that before and they probably used that suggestion but not for the o-ring figures so hopefully Hasbro doesn't screw us over here because I love collecting o-ring figures but since if Hasbro's not making them there's heavy armor toys that's coming out there's also there's Operation Recall by uh, 3D Joe's Carlson and Call Sign Longbow, those figures. So, anyways, if you want more O ring figures, there's definitely some cool ones to buy, and I bought into a few already. So, I definitely recommend the 3D Joe's.